This is James Menzies with Transportation Matters. Today we're at Glass Van Great Dane. Joining me is Kevin A. Bear of Capacity of Texas. Kevin, today we've heard a lot in recent years about hybrids and now it looks like that technology has been applied to the, the terminal tractor industry. Can you tell us a little bit about this truck you have here on display today? Uh, sure, James. Uh, basically what, we, what we're introducing to the market here is a truck called the FED. That stands for Pluggable Hybrid Electric Terminal Tractor. This is a, what, what we consider to be a true hybrid. Uh, it's got two uh, battery fuel cells that uh, generate power to uh, AC traction motor. It does have a 20 kW onboard gen set, but that gen set is only used to uh, renew the power source to the batteries, not to propel the vehicle. The unit is, uh, is equipped with all the standard features of a terminal truck today. From an operator's control standpoint to the exterior features you see is not much different than the terminal truck we have. What kind of capacity do these batteries have? How long can you run the truck before you've got to plug it in and charge up? What we've seen from testing today has been anywhere from an hour to three hours of full electric vehicle mode. Once the batteries de deplete to 50% of their charge, the onboard gen set kicks on and it charges the batteries back up to 20% of charge. So that operating range is 50 to 20 after your 100% electric vehicle mode. Now, um, obvious, the obvious benefit of a hybrid is reduced fuel consumption. What are you seeing in testing? I know this is a prototype, but what are you seeing in terms of what kind of fuel savings are possible with this unit? We're seeing fuel savings uh, right now up to 60%. Uh, I think an average is around 50. Right now, there's not a, with no government funding the, as the price tag sits today, uh, you've look, you're looking at a little bit over three and a half year payback. Most of that is uh, a result of the fuel redu reduction in fuel usage. So after three and a half years, it's paying for itself over and over again. Making money, yeah. Now what's the life uh, span of the batteries and what's the cost to replace the battery uh, unit? Uh, the, the cost on the batteries, I mean, that's going to vary from dealer to dealer. Life, the lifespan, we're, you know, what we're told is, is going to be five years. Uh, we, we do use uh, an absorbent glass mat, uh, lead acid, uh, maintenance free battery. This battery that is in the vehicle uh, was originally designed for use in the uh, aerospace industry, so it does meet a military spec. Now Kevin, we talked about the fuel savings and that always goes hand in hand with uh, emissions reductions as well. What kind of emissions reductions are we looking at with this unit? Yeah, what well, we're seeing today, again, based on application and duty cycle, uh, which is going to determine the amount of time that, that you run in electric, full electric vehicle mode versus, uh, you know, running a gen set. Uh, the numbers we've seen right now for, by some third party testing is a 77% reduction in hydrocarbons and NOx and an 85% reduction in particulate matter. Yeah, from an operator's control standpoint, there's not much difference from a standard terminal truck. All the gauges and switches, um, shift selector are pretty much the same. Uh, one of the major differences and key is the fifth wheel lever. Uh, there's a little red button on top here. This is what we refer to as a fast fifth feature. Uh, because your throttle only operates the drive system of the unit, uh, when you're in an idle position with the unit and you need the fifth wheel to go up uh, faster or slower, you can do that by energizing the, the hydraulic motor increasing RPM with the fifth wheel button. Uh, another another key uh, feature of the cab, uh, because we have reduced the size of the, the engine and our carbon footprint beneath the, the hood, we've been able to add in what we call a trainer seat. And this is a little, this is an option which can be added in and it has a, you've got a seat here for uh, when you need to train a new uh, truck driver and you've got uh, all the safety features of seat belt, backrest, and uh, grab handle. So folks, if you're tired of feeling pain at the pump, it might be time you think about paying for the plug. For Transportation Matters, this has been James Menzies.